So hi, welcome back to our channel, Open Road for Two. We are embarking on an adventure, something we've never done before. Hope you stick with us and see how this outcome goes. All will be revealed momentarily. Ready? Ready, let's go. Let's go. are on the hunt this Labor Day weekend for Yellow Post campsites. We have never been Yellow Post camping um, or dispersed camping. This will be our first time. So the hunt is on. We'll see what we find, whether it's a yellow, actual Yellow Post or if it is dispersed, if there aren't any available. It's kind of late on a Saturday trying to find a spot on Labor Day weekend. How's that going to work for us? Got our fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hoping we find something. Wish us luck. Yet? Well, we found a dispersed spot. I think it was dispersed. I didn't see a pole there, but the yellow post there, but somebody had already taken it. There's at least one car ahead of us, assuming they are headed to a yellow post or somewhere in particular. And a couple cars have come down the hill. We're still hopeful. Well, there's a still hopeful. That could be a dispersed spot we just passed. It would be a tiny spot, but we could make it work. If we have to come back, we'll come back, right? We'll come back, we'll see. We'll I'm see. still optimistic though, I'm still optimistic. Let's see what we find. So good news, we found some dispersed camping here. Um, just in time, the sun is going down, so we still have a little bit of light. Are you happy, honey? First yes. time doing this, it's really kind of nerve wracking because you're trying to find a spot and then you see a car in front of you and you're like, oh no, they're gonna get the spot, which there was an actually really, really ideal spot and there was two, a car in front of us that got it. Two yellow post spots just taken minutes before us. Yeah. So we're just going to disperse it tonight and see how it goes. We're going to get um, our camp set up here and then we'll show you everything once we get everything set up. Hopefully it won't be too dark by then. Got everything strapped down. We're going to do the poles next. Everything's color coded so should be super easy. And we'll have the tent up here momentarily. One thing that's a little messed up is how people kind of treat the area and they don't pack out what they pack in. So I'm going to do a little cleanup just to tidy it up around here because it's kind of gross seeing other people's toilet paper and trash around. Just in time as the sun was setting, we got the truck bed tent put up and got the air mattress in there. It's going to be a cozy little spot to sleep tonight. Um, hopefully we'll get a good night's rest. This is our first time, so we'll let you know in the morning. Tent's up. Time for dinner. For dinner tonight, we're going uh, relatively simple. We're going with some Costco pre-cooked uh, pulled chicken. Um, should be nice, um, nice, quick, easy meal. Uh, we'll just uh, heat it up here a little bit on this Bass Pro Shop grill we have with a 
cast iron skillet. So I've been warming the oil. Throw some down on there. I got a little uh, barbecue sriracha mix that we'll put in with it. Nice potato buns. Gotta love the potato buns. slaw along with our pulled chicken. Don't mind if you get some on the plate. Why? Just more for the eats. <laughs> Look at that. Little Potato bun sandwich brown. of happiness. I love barbecue sandwiches. All right, so dinner's ready, cooked by my wonderful husband, Randy. Thank you, honey. Dinner time. We are gonna sit down, eat, and have a nice beverage together. Cheers, honey. Cheers. For our first time, dispersed camping wasn't too bad. I wish we got here earlier to enjoy the location. Um, you could see the sunset right behind us still through the trees. Looks really awesome. You can hear the crickets chirping in the background. And once the lights go out, the stars are just going to be up in the sky. It's going to be romantic. It's going to be nice. It's a nice, cool evening. It's about 90 degrees, probably still at home, but Maybe even still 100, but at least up here, it's, gosh, I'd say probably uh, mid-70s I mean, right we're, now. I'm wearing, we're both wearing t-shirts. It's, it's perfect right now, so cheers. <sighs> All right, let's eat. Good morning. It's probably about 6.30 a.m. Uh, Randy's already up and about. We slept so good. Can't believe how well we actually slept minus the caravan of people trying to find a spot around 1.30 last night. But I mean, just look at the view when you first open your eyes. The first thing you see is these trees. Time for some coffee. Yes. We're getting ready to try this coffee that we won in a giveaway from Where the Russos and at Doma Coffee. It's an instant craft coffee. Um, we're really looking forward to see how this tastes. Doma Deep. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. It does. Coffee in the wild. Not bad. One of the wonderful things about dispersed camping or primitive camping is the beauty all around you. And I mean, look at this view just to see the sunrise touching the treetops with the sun spreading out over the valley. It doesn't get much better than this. Look at that, our little potty shelter blew over in the middle of the night. But it's the potty's not in there, thank goodness. I brought it closer to the truck so I wouldn't have to go far in the middle of the night when I had to tinkle. <laughs> but I woke you up, didn't I? Yeah, once or twice. But he had to go too, so it wasn't like I was waking him up and disturbing his sleep. We went right back to sleep soon after that. And it, was, so. it coincided with the people driving through the area, so. Yeah, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. So I'm able to fall no right bad back comments asleep. on me, okay, please. <laughs> he did get to fall back asleep. So, but we're enjoying our coffee. Doma coffee, thank you again. We're the Russos, thank you again. Having it in the wild here. Cheers.
Mm, tastes really good. On the menu for breakfast this morning, honey. Well, we're just gonna do a little uh, corned beef, egg hash. So, yeah, nice and easy, simple stuff for breakfast, for meals here. Not too much to pack, a little, just one little can here. This little Bass Pro Shop stove has worked out really good for us on our trips. Gets the job done nicely. Well, when you're dispersed camping, obviously you don't have facilities to use, so where do you go to the bathroom, right? Well, here you go. This is our potty. It's basically a five gallon bucket. We purchased a camping toilet seat to fix to the top and inside is a bag um, specifically made for camping or for um, travel commodes. It has an absorbent pad um, on the bottom. But what I've also done is I've taken our road dog Mocha's potty pads and put one of those in there and it worked just as fine as well. So you have a clean toilet that only you use. It's the perfect potty. In fact, we call it our easy peasy potty. So we're just relaxing here and we wanted to kind of tell you about why we got the Napier truck bed tent. Well, we were looking at doing the, the rooftop tents, but you know, we're right in the thick of the COVID-19 pandemic, as, as you all are aware. And I think everybody else is looking for rooftop tents and, and mainly the racks. It was hard, it was very hard to find the racks available for a Tacoma um, in stock. Um, it's about a six week lead time for most, most places to, to build you one. So we just wanted to get out here and enjoy the weekend uh, prior to getting the rooftop tent. But um, it may be something we're still looking into. If any of you guys have any suggestions, please uh, send us a, a message or leave Shoot a comment, a comment below, below uh, and, and what, you, what you like in, in a rooftop tent. Um, Cause we're new to them and we were definitely new to this nape here, but it, it really served us well. I mean, it uh, surprisingly comfortable in, in, the, in the back of the truck with the air mattress that we have in there. And we, we, we got a good night's sleep. And uh, First unboxing impression was, oh no, this isn't going to be good. But pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. And I would highly recommend if you're new to camping, overlanding, um, want to try something new, um, something a little more entry level than a rooftop tent, definitely look at the Napier um, Backwoods truck bed tent. It's, a, it's, it's an inexpensive way to get into it. And that's, that's one of the things when you start factoring in all the cost with, with overlanding, you know, it, it, it gets up there. I mean, when you, when you look at the rooftop tents, the hard shells, there are a couple thousand, three thousand dollars to get the hard shell ones. I mean, you can find some of the soft shell for closer to a thousand, eight hundred for some of them. Um, you know, and, and even with our truck, I mean, we, we have some bigger plans for the truck and things we want to do, but for right now, it's it's perfect for, for what we're doing. Um, it gets us out here. That's the biggest thing is just get out here. You can have all the gadgets on your truck, but if, if you're not utilizing it, you know, what's the point? You know, you can do it with, you know, the rooftop tent and the mattress. I mean, maybe we spent 250 bucks between the two. And the mattress we did get was not just a regular air mattress. It was specifically for, for the back of a truck, for back specifically of a truck. for the Tacoma and many yeah. others. Uh, we, we did find that we may need to get the uh, wheel well cut out because uh, it, 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 it's an option for the, for the mattress. Yes, it does, it's not included when you buy the mattress. It's an optional um, item that you need to purchase. So we stuffed our cavity where the wheel well is with extra sleeping bags and that worked. So we might have to purchase those and then it makes it a complete clean size air mattress that fills the bed of the Tacoma. So just one tip just to remember that. <laughs> um, but 
I'm, I'm glad we did it. Um, I like sleeping off the ground, being up a little bit higher. Um, no creepy crawlies crawling into the tent, so that's a plus. And um, you actually get more of a breeze too, I think, coming in through the ventilation in the windows, and there's a little ventilation at the top of the tent as well, so. And one of the things we failed to, to think about before coming up here was, was a step for climbing into the back of the truck. I mean, we've got a lift on the truck, and um, with climbing into the back of the bed, you know, especially for, for, for Joe here, it's, she's a little more vertically challenged than I am. And, uh, you know, well, boost you, I'll boost you up. But nothing a Coleman cooler cool. couldn't fix. That was perfect. A little, so. a great little solution was, was the cooler. Just, you know, it's sturdy enough for me. You know, I'm a little more heavy challenged. <laughs> And uh, it, it, it held my weight to climb it up into it, so. So all in all, overall review, what would you give? 10 out of 10 um, for the tent? I, I'd give it an eight and a half. I mean, it's, uh, again, for, for an entry, entry level tent getting into overlanding, it's, it was perfect, you know. I say I would give it out of nine out of 10. I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10, but it wasn't as easy putting it all together when we watched other YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to be honest, it was, it felt like the poles were going to break, but you just, they bend. They yeah. do. And yeah, we were a little panicked putting it together at the uh, first time doing it. I mean, we literally unboxed it here and put it together for the first time as the sun was setting and it was getting dark. So that added a little stress to it. And, and had it been, you know, 9 a.m. In the, in the morning, we're putting together a tent, it, it, it probably, we, we'd probably be a little uh, less, less, critical of, of the process but yeah. um, but actually once you kind of figure it out it's it's an easy setup it really is and the next time we set it up we'll know exactly what to do and so I think it's just that first time mm -hmm. you know putting it, putting together. it together so check so. it out Napier backwoods tent truck bed tent um, I give it a thumbs up yeah, I give it a thumbs up too so we enjoyed our stay here and um, one of the things we always like to do is keep it a little cleaner make it a little nicer than the way we found it we didn't do any shooting. None of these shell casings are ours. Uh, we found Frito bags and toilet paper. And there's stuff up the hill here, obviously, from where the shooting range is. And we like to practice Aloha and leave nothing behind and clean it up and uh, make it nicer for the next camper or whoever comes to check this place out and stay here and enjoy all the death we offer. Come look at my haul. Probably got over 100 shell casings in here, and as you can see, there's still a lot more. People, please just whatever you pack in, pack out. If we do all do our part and just clean up after ourselves, this would be so much easier, better for nature, better for the wild animals out here, and for campers to enjoy. So, just doing our part hopefully will make a difference. I encourage everybody to do their part. We are done with our dispersed camping. I think we're hooked now, fell in love with it. <laughs> I agree. Um, we got everything packed in, um, looks good. See the tents down, got the Tato cover down, and all in all, I can't wait to do this again. Um, can't we beat, can't we beat. can't, sorry. I we can't could. wait, sorry. She's coming, she's coming by herself. <laughs> no way. <laughs> um, can't beat free, can't beat, having you know neighbors just right next to you. Um, all in all, we really, really enjoyed ourselves. And if you've never tried dispersed camping or yellow post camping, it's an adventure, go for it, and you know? Shot. We, here we did it on a holiday weekend and we still found a spot, you know, you know, late on a Saturday evening to, to find it. And now we're leaving Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, Sunday morning. We just spent one night, so now somebody else, if they're coming up, they're going to take this spot for, for a night or two, depending on, on how long they plan to stay. We would like to stay longer, but um, we have commitments at home. Um, but that's the beauty of being a weekend warrior. You know, one day, two days, it's all whatever you need. You got, yeah. whatever, whatever you have time for. You know, and the important thing is fitting it in and, and, and making it happen. I mean, you know, we were talking about it last night. What would we be doing right now if, if we weren't out here doing this? We'd be sitting on the couch watching a movie and here we're under the stars and just enjoying each other's company and we just had a, a phenomenal time. So give us a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we're going to see you next time on The Open Road. Bye. Take care.